Hey, what's going on humans? Hopefully you're having a good day. I know I am. And right now we'll be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Buzz Lightyear Alpha Suit. Let's get into it. So this is Buzz as he appeared in his own spinoff movie, uh, Lightyear from Pixar. Uh, yeah, so I'm a huge Buzz Lightyear fan. Toy Story was a big part of my childhood. I watched Toy Story 2 on VHS. I don't know how many times my mother could tell you that herself. But uh, yeah, so they gave him his own spinoff movie. Uh, this is basically the movie that Andy watched that got him into Buzz Lightyear, which, yeah, the movie was, uh, not bad, it was just, uh, I don't really know how to put it, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, I'd give it, like, probably, like, a 6.5 out of 10, but other than that, I did like the design of Buzz, uh, I liked his, kind of liked his character a little bit, still kind of salty that it was not Tim Allen to do the voice, instead we had a get Captain America, of all people, but okay, fine. But even though that does not take away from how amazing that this figure is, that figure arts have, gave, have given us. So this is Buzz in his alpha suit, and it's definitely, it looks great. I love the way it turned out. It translates so well, but one thing that surprised me is the articulation in this guy, because it's kind of blocky, and for as blocky and chunky as the suit is, it actually has a really, really good range of motion. So starting off with the head, you know, it's two separate joints. So you have the neck and the head. So you can roll it around. You can get all types of expression on it. So you can look all the way down, of course, side to side. And then the arms come up about that far. Not perfectly high. Because the shoulder pads, they do move on a separate hinge. You can rotate it all the way around. It does have a butterfly joint inside. And there's a nice biceps, elbow bend and bicep swivel. And then you have a nice range of motion in the torso. He can bend back this far, bend forward this far and lean back that far. And then for the let oh for the it has a standard wrist articulation. A little hinge. And then you have the legs which articulate and they can come all the way out to almost get a perfect split. And then you have a nice knee bend. Really nice knee bend. I also have a thigh swivel. And then the articulation in the feet, you know, it can come down. He does have the toe, even though it's a big toe articulation, you just gotta, it's kind of tough. Just gotta bend it forward a little bit, just like so. Show that off. But he poses up significantly nice. That doesn't even sound like proper English. So you know, you can kind of get him in a nice one-two stance. Very standard. Very, very standard, I may say. Oh. Yeah, but the amount of expression he gives in this suit is like really good. I like it. Oh. And then you can also get him in some nice running poses if you wanted to. You know, yeah, you can get a whole lot of range of motion out of him. Let's see if you want to do like a nice solid kick. Be kind of blocky, but yeah, it works. I like the way it comes out in some angles. I think it looks really good. I love I loved playing with him, and I enjoyed taking the photos I did with him. So, without further ado, we're going to get on to his accessories, because he comes with quite a bit of stuff. So, he has closed fist hands on him right now. 
And as far as the other hands go, he has... Yeah, these hands, which are like the open palm relax hands. He also has pointer finger hands. Or if he wanted to push the buttons, make him push the buttons on his uh, armor. And he also comes with weapon holding hands. Trigger holding hands as well. Uh, he comes with also some different accessories too. Comes with another head sculpt with him with his hair out. A nice little smirk. What you gotta do is just take this out. And then you just plug it in here. There you kind of have buzz and a nice smile. It looks good. And also, he does come with some other accessories. So he comes with his pistol. Which almost kind of looks like the Halo Magnum. And then he also comes with his sword. Laser sword. Forgot the name of it. He also comes with his wrist mounted uh, laser that goes on the right arm. And then he also comes with his jetpack. So I'm gonna show how to I'm gonna show you how to fully assemble this guy. So for the arm for the arm laser, what you do is you just take it and it just slides on. There's no peg. It's a soft rubber strap that you just push it back as far as it goes, and then that's how you get the arm on. Now, to put the laser on his waist, he comes with... So on the thigh right here, on his right thigh, he has this little cover piece. In which I do have it off, because it was I don't have any nails, and it's definitely hard to take off. But it has like a little gap you can put something thin in. So you have this, and it goes in there, plug it up. When you don't have laser you don't have the blaster plugged in so you take this piece and plug it into his waist and then you slide it hold on I want to put the trigger guard like there and then that just stores on the thigh properly and then on the backpack well on the back, you know, you have this piece right here, which the acts as a cover for this hole right here. But you have also this piece, which you use for the sword, to store the sword. And then you just plug that in. You can just plug it in like so. And that just stores on his back. And also, he also, he comes with you know, his uh, helmet. So how do you get this piece on is kind of tricky, especially if you don't have nails. These little pieces on the inside with the silver on them, let me show you there. You do is you take them out. You just They just slide up. Actually, that was a little bit easier to get off that time. But yeah, you can remove the head if it makes it easier for you, if you have a hard time getting it. So put Buzz's uh, serious face back on. And then you take the helmet piece and then you just line it up and you close it. Which I think it's backwards. Hold on. Yeah, that looks backwards. Yeah, that much better. Fits much fits better. And so there you have Buzz Space Ranger armored up. You know, he got his weapons ready, just in case, to travel into the unknown. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to put the backpack on him. So, yeah, you can't store the sword on the backpack, unfortunately. Well, actually, I don't think you can, actually. Hmm. 
So, you have the backpack, and then you have the port right here. And then, you just plug it in, and it stays on there. And so, there you have him with the back, excuse me, jetpack. I just realized I just said backpack a whole lot of times. So there you have the jetpack on him. And then it's a close position. So of course, he's not flying off or anything. And then you take, if you want to get him in the flight pose, you take those little wings out. Got the caution stripes on him. And then you have the extended flip out wings. And so what you do is you plug one into that side and they just plug in here, right behind it. And there you have Buzz ready to take flight. And um, to get him in like a flight, and to get him in like a nice flight stance, let me just take that off real quick. Kind of get that traditional Toy Story Buzz Lightyear flight pose. I'm always putting the arms up. Uh, pull the feet back and then yeah so there you have Buzz actually let's just there you go so you see Buzz just flying around you remember the scene from Toy Story the opening of Toy Story 2 was perfect so yeah, you get a little bit of that going on. Um, he also comes with a Tomashi Nation stand, which you just, actually it's this way. No, it's not, it's this way. And so I don't have a stand on me right now. So then, you know, it does. I actually do appreciate them putting that stand on there to actually get you, you know, get him in a flight pose and it looks good. But yeah, you can pose him up. He looks great in a flight pose. But the one thing I want to see is I saw something on the instructions that I think this piece comes off and then you can put a, a Tomashi stand in the back of the jetpack. But I don't have any nails. Actually, will I cut my finger? Let's find out. There we go. That fell off somewhere. So I think that's a port. Actually, I might have one. I lied, I have one right under me, so... Hmm. So yeah, it doesn't, it's not a tight fit, it just kind of just whoop, plops in. Like, it's not gonna like hold him, like you don't wedge it in there, so like, yeah, as you can see, gravity took place, but uh, that could definitely help. As far as if you want to get him like a sort of, maybe a hovering stance. So if you want to get him like a hovering stance, then yeah, that'll definitely work. Something like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna get him straightened up and then we're gonna get ready to do some size comparisons and end it all with that. Alright, and for the size comparisons, I wanna compare him off to where is he at? Oh, this is Zerg. This is like Zerg from like a basic figure line that I saw. I've been looking to get the Alpha Series Zerg because I think the articulation is much better. But uh, you know, that works in scale, especially for the movie, which I'm not going to really spoil it for you if you haven't seen it. I uh, want to compare them off to Black Series, Stormtrooper, Jet Trooper. And then from Power Rangers, Lightning Collection, Dino Charge, Pink Ranger. So then from Spartan Collection, here's Carter. And Marvel, Le Marvel Legends, excuse me, we have uh, Black Suit Spider-Man. Yeah, so far and he scale scales well with uh, your basic figure line of all the other six 112 scale stuff. From G.I. Joe Classified, here he is next to the Baroness. And 
also a classified bat figure. And to end it off, here he is next to Seven Toys, my and common writer Jenny from SH Figure Arts. So, yeah, there we go. Other than that, that'll do it for this one. This was Buzz Lightyear, the Alpha Suit from SH Figure Arts. Uh, I love this figure very much, uh, especially for the articulation and how blocky this guy is. It's really impressive the, impressive the amount of range of motion you can get from him. So, I think Figaro did a really good job with this guy. And I actually do appreciate the um, kind of matte finish that they gave him. The suit's not, like, shiny or anything. Like, I actually, it actually does look like it popped out of the movie. It looks great. So, my hat's off to Figaro for this one. This is a good figure. But other than that, that'll do it for this one. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully it helped you out. Y'all be good. We'll see you in the next one. To infinity and beyond.